morning. Uh, just wanted to talk this morning briefly uh, about mindset things. That's really seems to be at the forefront of a lot of the discussions I've had lately in and out of the gym as it pertains to training and even more so competing. And uh, Jennifer Milliken had posted this great video about the law of the thirds. And to, to explain that is if a third of the time you're training your life, whatever the case may be, whatever the endeavor may be, and uh, you know, I'm condensing a little bit, um, if a third of the time it's great and you feel awesome, and a third of the time it's, it's okay, and a third of the time you kind of feel crappy, that's really the laws of the thirds and you're, you're okay. Um, the same pertains to, to our training. And I, I had a lifter this morning, just as an example, who has recently joined the gym, been there a little over a month, and has already made huge strides. This was someone that was, is a national contender. And what I mean by that is contending to win. And uh, as I'm learning the nuances of, of not just the physical abilities, but the technical aspects and the mental, even, even emotional and spiritual aspects, I've learned about fear more and more and how one of the things that I try to teach is fear is not the issue. You know, we all, before a big meet, as long as I've done this, I, we all get nervous, we have some anxiety, and the practices that we use and that we make in, in our training and in our day, you know, daily lives has a big impact on whether or not that fear has control or not. And so the thing that I, that I try to teach is that it's okay to be fearful. It is not okay for that fear to be the driving force and, and be in control of you. It can't be in charge. You are in charge. And there, I have, I'm a big, big believer in simply doing all the things necessary to reaffirm and confirm your belief in yourself and surround yourself with people that are going to be critical because they believe in you and believe that you can, believe that you should, you know, and that comes into play every day. You have to offer yourself. Recently, uh, had a friend of mine that lifts on another team is coached by a good friend of mine had a tough day bombed out of a big meet and really took it hard which I understand and you have to offer yourself some grace um, the, what we do as, as strength athletes it is really hard because it's not normal it's a it's above average if you're showing up every day if you're being consistent and you're training, it's hard, you know. I say this all the time, the premise of strength is very simple. It is literally a very simple, the mechanics and the processes are very simple. But it's also really, really difficult. It is wrought with trouble and things to overcome and challenges. It's just hard. And so, when you have these moments, you gotta understand, you hear this all the time, success is built on the back of failures that failure is revealing those difficulty and trying moments is revealing on the things that you have to work on and in those moments you've got to to look at it what your perception is of that is if I have all these things to work on I have that much more opportunity to improve and get better difficult days are difficult they're frustrating they create anxiety. I understand all those things, and I'm not against those things. That, that's a natural process. What we have to do is be strong enough spiritually, mentally, emotionally to overcome that and still be in charge. Nobody wants to miss. No one wants to have a bad session. But when you have them, understand the only bad session you have is the one that you miss. The session you didn't do means that you weren't consistent. It means that you weren't there. It means you weren't working. Every time you show up, you get the opportunity to get better. So I implore you, keep showing up. Offer yourself some grace in moments of difficulties, but stay open-minded enough to learn and be self-critical and self-analytic 
and, and get a coach, be guided by someone that knows, whoever that may be, and simply keep believing in yourself. Believe in your processes and follow and chase that dream. Everybody have a great day.